Hi, good morning. It's Teresa, keto fat girl no more. I'm on a walk at the park with my mom and I brought my two dogs. I don't know if you can see them. They're being naughty though. They keep trying to bark at these other dogs because I haven't taken them on a walk for a long time. So I'm kind of stingy when I go on my walks. I don't like to have to deal with the dogs because they're naughty. <laughs> Chiquita, get over here. Anyways, I just want to come on here because I haven't come on here all week long. And I'm going to stop up here in a second. Now someone's mowing their lawn, so. Um, just wanted to let you guys know I'm doing good. My ankle's getting better every day. I'm um, fighting allergies, but other than that, I'm good. My blood pressure's been good every day. I'm staying on track, keeping to my macros. Um, yesterday, I had, if you guys follow my Instagram, I post a lot of what I eat. It's Keto Fat Girl No More on Instagram. And I post a lot of the food that I make on there. I haven't figured out how to do this because I use I just use my phone to make these videos. So I haven't figured out how to post pictures or anything neat like some of y'all do. Mine's just a plain Jane channel. For now, if I ever figure out how to do the other stuff, I'll do it. But anyways, yesterday, let me see what did I ate. I didn't eat anything until about 12.30. I had a bulletproof coffee. Hold on a second. Lady, you're tangling me up. I had a bulletproof coffee for breakfast with my Sole water and some apple cider vinegar. I do a Sole water apple cider vinegar shot every morning. And here's my Sole water that I take to walk with me. I put some Mio drops in it, some apple orchard Mio drops, and then two tablespoons of Sole water. I do about five tablespoons of Sole water a day. So I get all my sodium in. Um, so I don't have any more problems at all. I'm gonna stop. I don't have any more problems at all with um, cramping or fatigue. I just feel pretty amazing all the time. Um, I was taking my Thrive supplement and I ran out. So I'm off of that right now for the last two days. But I still feel pretty great. I know doing Thrive and Keto at the same time is like the best thing in the world. Like those two combination, wow. I feel like Wonder Woman. I mean, I feel like I could do anything when I'm, take, when I'm doing both. Um, I still feel great. The Sole water helps big time. And then eating healthy, of course. I was watching a video this morning. I don't know if it's Pearls of Wisdom or, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry. If you watch my video, I'm sorry. But um, you were talking about vegetables that have carbs in them. And, I, and she was saying that um, squash and zucchini has a lot of carbs in it. So then I felt guilty because I had that for dinner last night. But I guess I can mellow out on the squash and the zucchini because um, I do eat that a lot. But the, the vegetable I eat the most is broccoli and cauliflower, but I do, like last night I did broccoli the yellow squash, the zucchini, some mushrooms, a little bit of onion. And that's another thing she was saying that onions have a lot of carbs in them. And I know garlic does too, but I already feel like, I know she said this too on her video. I already feel like I've given up so much already. I'm not gonna give up onions and garlic on top of everything else and just eat salt and pepper. Come on now. So I do add a little bit of garlic and onion to my food and I know others may not but I do there's probably a lot of things that I do that others don't do but I'm still shrinking and that's all that matters not to mention the fact that I started out doing keto to lose weight but I've had so many other amazing benefits because of keto that I'm never getting off of this way of lead eating because first of all I no longer have acid reflux. Um, I have a, high, a sliding hiatal hernia, whatever that is. 
All I know is it caused me a lot of discomfort and it no longer does. I had gastritis. I don't have problems with that anymore. I would literally, this is probably too much information, but I would literally be up every night throwing up with acid reflux. It was horrible. I would throw up three to five times a night. And then when I started checking into stuff, they did blood work on me. I found out I was allergic to glucose, or not glucose, excuse me, gluten. So I cut gluten out of my diet. And then I heard that sugar causes inflammation, so I cut sugar out of my diet. And then somebody said, if you stop eating after five, you won't get the acid reflux at nighttime. So I stopped eating after four. So that was what I did in the beginning. And then I found keto a couple months later, so I started eating even better and cleaner and started dropping the pounds. At first I just started feeling good you know, doing the low carb and, and cutting out the gluten and the sugar. But once I got on keto, the, another thing is when I started keto, I didn't have a clue to what I was doing. I just kind of jumped in head first. I did research, but I guess I didn't research enough because I didn't know that I needed my electrolytes. I didn't know that. I didn't know nothing about minerals. I've learned so much on this diet. All my friends and family are starting to call me Dr. Morales, because that's my last name. Um, anyways, so I learned about Sole water. First I was just eating Himalayan salt when I first learned about the electrolytes. Then I learned about Sole water, started drinking that, changed my world. Then I found out I needed magnesium. Tammy from Keto and the Chaos helped me with that one. So started taking 400 milligrams of magnesium a day and my world has changed. I feel so great and then I started taking Thrive again and then my world was even brighter just more beautiful but anyways I feel great I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep doing this I'm gonna make it all you ladies and gentlemen that have been encouraging me thank you so much Joni from Keto Diamond you're the bomb you rock I love you I'm so thankful for all your advice and all your help Sandy's losing it. You've helped me a lot too. And some of you other ladies, I can't remember your names, but you're all just so awesome. Um, Tammy from Keto and the Chaos helped me so much in the beginning. And I don't know what I would do without you ladies if I wouldn't have had your encouragement and all of your wisdom. I wouldn't have made it this far, but I know because you guys are watching me, I gotta keep going. I gotta do it. So if, you, if you're watching my channel right now, if you're watching this video and you haven't already subscribed, please do so you can follow my journey if I'm not too boring. And so like and subscribe and push that bell if you want to get notifications about my videos. You'll have a beautiful day. It's beautiful here in sunny California. It's a beautiful day. So y'all have a great day. God bless you. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.